So now let's quickly understand uh, the activity items. So activity items are in simple terms, you know, uh, companies, companies would uh, involve in, uh, involve the contractors in onboarding and offboarding activities. Onboarding activities would be like, onboarding itself is an activity. On top of it, they'll be having the minimal training that is given from the company and so on. And uh, yeah, on top of it, uh, asset assignments like laptop or so on, or any other machine that they are using. Okay. So those are called as onboarding activities and uh, offboarding activities. They'll be having other set of offboarding activities like uh, evaluating the uh, contractor. Evaluating the contractor should be like, it is an activity, but it is not exactly, not just an offboarding activity. Uh, evaluation will happen every month or every three months or so on as per the company's wish. So similarly, we have some of the activity items set up here. Whatever the activity that has to happen can be set up here. So assignability, it is an onboarding activity. Okay, it is an onboarding activity. What all is there? It's it is it is very simple. It is going to explain what from the activity type to code, what action, what is the action actually, who has to do it, actor, who has to do it, usage, is it mandatory or optional, and what all for what all it is being created and what is its importance. So when it comes to S4W Worker, it clearly says that when you create or revise, this will be added. Okay. So when will it be due? Send work items. Escalate when it needs to be escalated. Three working days after the due date. So it would be done at the first day, zero working days before due date. This, this would be done the very first day of the onboarding. Would be escalated after three days of completion of the work. Three working days, completion of three working days. Okay. So to how many checklist has it been added it has been added to the contingent that is cw and the profile worker so they haven't added it to the cw sorry sow because by default the sow gets when once onboarded sow adds this we see it here okay so uh, this, these are the activities that will be maintained here. For, uh, okay, security pass, collect the security pass from exit. Yeah, this is an offboarding activity. So when the contractor is quitting, this is the offboarding activity, what all needs to be done. If they need to collect their identity cards and so on. Okay, then has to do who is the actor, so on. How do we create this? We have to click on new. So we have got the type of activity. What is this? Is it managing the worker, managing the consolidated worker? Consolidated worker in the sense it's the master worker data. Okay. It's the master worker data within system. This is 
a transactional worker data. Transactional worker data are like profile or the work order that we saw yesterday and so on. Uh, and the SOW, SOW, not just SOW, the workers attached to the SOW. Okay. At it's it's just the attachment. Manage the contract or e-signature and so on, evaluation and others. Okay. So we can select any one of them. We can select any one of them. Is it an onboarding task attached to the worker? Attached to the worker is something which is which we saw for SPW in one of the activities. Edit, manage, when, when is that? So workers, at what stage of worker data, this needs to happen, okay? Revise, okay, let's say we click on revise, revise worker. Starting from the code action, we can just give the code for our uh, recognition to recognize what it is. What is the action that needs to be taken? Who will be the actor? Action, no, who has to action upon? Usage, is it a mandatory or optional? Completion based on credit for sites. You get it. Completion based on prerequisites. If you say yes, what is the prerequisite? What should have happened in first place to trigger this activity? Any of the actions that is already there in the system needs to be selected if in case it has to happen. But yes, we need to understand. We need to understand the requirement properly so that we can configure this. Yeah. When it should be escalated. How many working dates? Can this be canceled? And then we can add it. Okay, so these are uh, the list of uh, activity. LAN ID is one of the activity. LAN ID is something when once the data is created in field class, the data flows to the downstream systems for the creation of that network access. So the network access will have a right back facility as well. As per the configuration, the right back happens to the field class. And the same data needs to be passed on to the contractor so that he logs into the system. Okay, so this is one of the activities it's been assigned to all the three modules, profile worker, continuous worker, because it is very important that you know they are onboarding the contractors to have their network access. So without the network access, they cannot log into the system. They cannot work at all. So, so many, uh, you have got induction, onboarding uh, activity. So these are the activity list, okay? This activity list are used here in the activity checklist in the sense, whenever we create the activity, it needs to be assigned to the modules. Which module, is it only the profile worker module or is it only the CW or is it all SOW? So how many activities are assigned to CW? There are 15 activity items that are assigned to the CW. Profile worker, 
we see 10 activities that's been assigned to the profile buffer. Okay, if we want to add on, we can try adding on. We need to select any of the codes that are, that are present there in the activity list, and then we can add them on. Okay. So this is about the activity item creation and the activity checklist. It's the assignment to the uh, assignment to the module, any of the modules. So these are the three major modules, contingent, profile worker, SOW. However, when we were creating the, the rules, approval rules, you guys saw a whole lot of modules, okay? So when it comes to the rules, whatever is there within the system is considered as module. Whereas when it comes to the external workforce, it is these three modules within fail plans. It's only for the approval rules, any action or anything within the system is considered as module. Okay. 